Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect 2. So in the last episode, we finished up Dr. Solis's mission and it was a juicy one. We learned a little bit more about his opinions about the genophage, seeing Dr. Morden react to killing one of his protégés and him realizing the necessity of it kind of just let me understand him a little bit more. He's not a guy that messes around. He is very practical. He's very straightforward and he will do what needs to be done for the better of everybody involved. And he had some really great lines in that last quest that really just touched my heart. I'm just really glad that we could complete his his mission for him. So he has a new outfit, he has a new ability, and I'm really excited to check it out today. We're going to take him along with Grunt in this next loyalty mission for Grunt, who has been having some uh, symptoms of blood rage. So we went and saw Grunt it feels like forever ago now. I feel like we're on episode like 15, 16. I don't know. We're like getting up there and it has been such an amazing ride and I really don't want it to end. I'm excited to get into Mass Effect 3, but I digress. I digress. So we went to see Grunt. He had some problems where he was very angry and it's interesting because when we went to Tachanka the first time one of the chiefs mentioned that the hospital was built for Krogans that are undergoing blood rage because they're injured so I'm wondering if maybe something happened to Grunt where he got injured or something like that we're gonna go see what is going on with him and what Rex thinks is going down with him so I'm excited to see the interaction between Grunt and Rex because Rex Rex is like our number one main, my number one main in Mass Effect 1. And Grunt is like our little baby Krogan that we took under our wing. And I'm just really excited to see how they react with one another. So without further ado, let's go. We're just heading straight out back to Tijanka. We should, oh no, we went to the Shadow Broker ship. Okay. So we actually have to get back. We stopped at the Shadow Broker ship last time too and learned a little bit more about Samara and Tali and it was very, very interesting. All right, we need to be careful with our fuel because we're kind of running low here. I feel like it's kind of strange that your fuel only matters like outside of systems. I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit strange. I wonder why it's set up that way. But yeah, we have to go back through the mass relay. And... Help Grunt, there we go. Over here. All right, back to Jachanka. <laughs> I feel bad because in the last episode, Morty was like, I need to go to like a beach or something. And we're just about to take him back out with us again. Um, oh, wow. His costume change isn't even that different. I mean, he looks cool, but it's like very, very slight. Okay, we'll give him the new one. He looks nice in that. Rather than like all white, he's got some some features now. And then we've got a little Grunt. Wait, Grunt has appearances already? <gasps> Whoa! All right, we'll bring the... We'll change his appearance after this one. I want to see his like facial expressions and everything else. He looks too like non-baby grunt here and like in my mind i just imagine him as like a baby still and he's unsure what's going on with him so yeah i'm gonna keep his original armor for now we can change him over to his really cool armor later and we have two points i'm gonna save it for incinerate incinerate is what i'm going for next um incinerate all the way to four and then we'll work on cryo ammo that's my plan. What does Grunt run? He has that, uh... Yeah, the Krogan shotgun and, an, and a collector assault rifle. Okay.
carry it too far. Mm. Damn right. Tear the scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Jeez. Ah. So intense. Clan Erdnot has increased his strength after the destruction of Clan Werelock. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Is there anything over here? We actually See never that special they had on the extra net? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Fix it so you can't hunt. It was a special bit on the citadel. It was a special bit on the citadel. <laughs> it's like watching TV. I guess this was the era where like everyone was saying that TV rots your brain. I mean they still say that, but they were very big on it around this time. Shepherd. What can I do for you, my friend? Um, tell me about your work. I think we've already kind of like talked to everything about his his work and stuff, so let's ask about Grunt. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. Aww. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Um, to be fair, we did not murder him. <laughs> uh, does it change anything? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? Vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah. Puberty ritual, common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, <laughs> Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? A fertility ritual? Interesting. <laughs> so, what do they do? What is involved? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. Wait, so is the reason why he has blood rage because he's feeling feelings of fertility? That would make sense. I mean, his like, <laughs> his toy figures and like the magazines that he purchased that we found out from the Shadow Broker, he's obviously very conflicted right now. He had to grow up super fast. Um, what if he doesn't? What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? I love that Rex is being so open. I'm guessing it's because it's us, but he's just being super nice to him. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. All right, well, it's his decision. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. 
He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. Oh, Rex. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? True. Very true. Um... He obviously can't come with us. I want to see if we missed anything about tell me about your work. I was very taken back the first time that we, t we talked to him because I was so excited. Let me just see if I missed anything real quick. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a neutral ground where all clans can share resources and fertile females. It's a new day for the Krogan. We shall rise again. Yeah, I remember asking all this. I think I missed one message about the females, what though. What do women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Yeah, I missed this one. When I rewatched, when I was editing my video, I was like, oh, I didn't ask about the female owning, having their own clans. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. Hmm, how's the plan going? This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared, worse than I'd hoped. I've got a few clans, but too many are turning their backs on us entirely. You have opposition? Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Duvenk are chained barren, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Yeah, risky for sure, but... Wow, rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. He has big plans, and I agree with all of his plans. He's trying to make it better. He's trying to give everyone the opportunity to have a family, and hopefully eventually, once he has enough in his clan, I mean, he's already becoming the stronger clan, especially now that we've taken care of Dr. Solis's protege on the other side of things, and that clan is falling now. Hopefully he will see success, and maybe one day the women can live amongst them and they won't have to fight over them as much. I feel like that's his ultimate plan. It's very, it's very ballsy, very interesting. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. Yeah. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. It's awesome. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. <laughs> Okay. And we didn't say anything about our business here. I'm guessing it's just about... Grunt. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka. But you're an exception. Okay. I can ask him to come with us. I know that he's gonna say no, though. He ha He's doing a lot here. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta go talk to the shaman. And he's up this way, which we haven't been yet. I was just realizing we haven't been up this way. Oh, there's a lot of Krogans up here. Alright, who's this? Oh, it's the shaman. There was one other person we could talk to, right? I just want to look around for a second. Oh, Galactic News Station. A council inquiry has concluded that a combat VI that went rogue on Luna was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the VI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. I hate that message. I've heard that one before, and I... It's awful. Then I'll put your crowd, the ambassador. Knackmore Ambassador? Hmm, I don't know who to talk to first. Turn back, human. 
I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Kroken makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. Mm, that would be a mistake. You seem like a well-traveled <laughs> Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic Wastes. How does the clan survive? If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What is your clan one here? What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. Why are you an ambassador? I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. <laughs> what makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Hmm, okay. I should go. <laughs> I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Interesting. That's awesome that he's here, though. I mean, it means that people are listening and respecting Rex. All right, let me go talk to this guy, and then I'll go talk to that dude no over way. there. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone. Ever. So what, is he the person that links everyone up with the female clans? Speaking for the females is an honor, even if it delays my rite of passage. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. Oh, okay. Go away. <laughs> the envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Okay. All right, let's see what the shaman has to say about you rights. Go beyond yourself, Gadatavuvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. He dares stand in grunt, Grunt's way. I want this crap over with. Um, I'm not gonna cause beef. I think we should not cause beef with Krogan, so we have permission. I'll just be very factual. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> that is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. <sighs> My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. He can bring allies? I mean, he has us. How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Well, he's part of my crew. We stand with Grunt as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. <laughs> you. You dare. I saw Rex do it, so... <laughs> I like this human. She understands. I withdraw my denial. Oh my God. This will be decided elsewhere. <laughs> oh, that was great. 
You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. Uh, what should we bring? Do we need any special equipment snacks? To begin the right, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Okay. I don't know about all that, but I will bring snacks. Can Udvank interfere? Is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. Oh, he going to die. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. All right, so give me the details. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Okay, well, let's go. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. I don't know what to expect, but hopefully it's fine. <laughs> Um, okay, so we can bring different people. I guess I might as well just bring Garrus for this one because he can fight alongside us. Yeah, let's bring, let's bring Garrus. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars in the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trial. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Okay, survive until the right is finished. Let's right. get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Okay, what's this? Oh, it has like creds and stuff. I'm gonna go grab this stuff real quick. I don't know what's over here they're obviously gearing us up for some spicy stuff so we might Let's as well get started, be prepared Shepherd. hit the keystone all right all right i'm going oh look there's like there's stuff everywhere in here i'm nervous i won't be able to like get this stuff Let's afterwards get started, Shepherd. hit the keystone hang on guys i'm looting Might as well grab it all now, right? Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Man, this is gonna get spicy, isn't it? They're giving us a lot of stuff. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Turbine parts? Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Okay. Money, money, money. Is there anyone over here? Oh yeah, it's over here too. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Okay, okay. Going. First the Krogan conquered Tachanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Where do they come from? <laughs> what is that? Here they come. I'm Who? Ready. Where are they? Impact 
shot. Baron. Okay. Let me put his abilities up on here. Incendiary ammo. Okay. So he's already using that one, which is good. Let's move that one over there and we'll use this one. Stand over here. I feel like I'm like waiting for that one dude to show up and ruin it all. I'm ready. Okay, okay, over there. There's another one over here. footsteps are so heavy. I like that they added that. That's kind of cool. I was like, what is that? And it was him like chonking past me. <laughs> Ready for another round, Shepard. Tag the keystone. All right. So we got to we're going to up it now. This is kind of fun. I like the waves. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. An enemy only we could chase to their land. I don't know what. Oh, God. I hate that. I absolutely hate it so much. It scares me every time. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. Heads up. What was that? from like Groot, like Groot stole that from this. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I had to pause, sorry. Jeez, this is intense. Firing eye impact shot. This is bad, this is bad. I need some cover for a second. All right, he's down. They're dropping more over here. How many waves do we have to survive? Awesome. Yeah, right on your ass. Holy hell. 
should slow him down. more ammo for a second. Alright, this screen shake is awful. second after that that was insane good gosh all right next time i'm definitely bringing out the chonkers we got six bullets in there we're definitely using that next time and i'm running away from that thing so it doesn't scare me it is a fight where the only goal is survival god i hate it feel that everything is shaking I'm not ready. I, I didn't really think I was gonna be a part of this, if we're being honest. What's that? <gasps> what the heck is that? Enemies on our right! <gasps> oh! It. It's a Panther Ball! Oh! Wow. Holy crap! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. down here we need to get our crew back here we go impact shot all right here goes nothing no no where is he all right here we go No! I was trying so hard to get that last shot in. Oh man. I was so hopeful and I shouldn't have pushed it and I deserve to die. We have to start all three rounds over again. Hopefully not. All right, you guys ready? Now, all Krogan bear the genophage. Okay. Our reward, our curse. It is a like fight where the only nowhere safe survival. to hide up here when that happens. All right, let's see. Okay, it's just the final round. All right, we'll do better this time. We'll do better. Where is he? Down. This is insane. 
This is absolutely insane. I don't think this gun does anything to it. I'm gonna try one more time just because I can, but I don't know. Oh, come on, I dodged that. How can you see me? I need to get my shields back online. Okay, everyone's okay still. Finally, an enemy worth fighting. Nice when it's over there because you have those like stone pillars to kind of hide behind a little bit. Let's see. I can maybe hide behind this one. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. Damn. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. One more hit, maybe. That's insane. Alright, here we go. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. What? Oh my god, he's hanging on by a thread. How much health does he have left? Like 0.75? What is going on? Let's go! Can we get him? Oh man, that was crazy. We have Good. I want more. It's him coming, isn't it? That guy that was opposed. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Ma. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My crack wow. gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. Are you here to fight? I'm wondering that too. Why hesitate now? You're stumbling, Uvank. What's your game? Grot will command much respect now. His strength may be artificial, but it is a tolerable loophole. Oh. What? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I'm strong. Exactly. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. Yeah, you only want him as a trophy. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadotog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your right of passage tipped that balance too. I'm gonna leave it up to Grunt because I think that it's important and the whole reason why we're here is so that Grunt can figure out who he is and what's going on with himself. So I'm gonna leave it up to him. I think that it's his call. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvink, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. Okay, he made his choice. I've seen it. Yep, he made his choice. I think he made Go the right one. Try a real on the ground now. One more. Take it. Hogan charging. Is he 
down. Oh no, there's more. Yeah, he's hiding Firing behind everything like shot. a chicken. Earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Aww. Run, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no match. Aww. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. Oh, he chose us. I don't know why that made me teary-eyed, but it did. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tichanka's past. Chanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. <laughs> Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. The destruction was good? I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their yeah. own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it, no stopping us. I was about to say, like, that is also another point. The Krogan and being weak is like a look down upon thing. But I remember Rex talking about his father and how his father owned the clan and he was stuck in the old ways and he didn't want that anymore. So he ended up having a very big disagreement with him. He actually murdered his father, didn't he? Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. Yeah, but what about you? What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay. I feel like Grunt is like a mix between, and I'm getting like all Guardians of the Galaxy vibes, especially after his, I am Krogan, <laughs> like shout chant that he did during that fight um, with the I am Groot. That's like, I feel like he's a mix between like Groot because of the baby thing and he's very strong and like he does, he's a, he's a man of few words. And I also get, um, what was his name? I think it was... I think it was Rex, actually. Wasn't it? 
no Drex. It was like a D a D name, Drex. But he also has like that straight to the point. I'm gonna say what's on my mind and like <laughs> just point out the obvious. And I just I I love it. I think he's a really awesome character. All right. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This is valuable. What, did they give me something? Oh, that was awesome. It was awesome, like, that Rex stood up for us, like, the very start of the mission, and that conversation with Rex was awesome. The whole fight was crazy. Um, and just Grunt, I feel like he made the right decision. I'm really happy that it let us have him choose and not just put words into his mouth because this entire mission was about grunt was about him being one of his own he finally has that understanding of himself and hopefully it helps with his blood rage because now he knows what he's fighting for and i got teary-eyed but he chose us like he's fighting for us he's gonna stand up for us and we're standing up for him too like we helped him in his trials and we stood by his side and I think that this entire ceremony was a really awesome bonding experience and hopefully he will find some solace in that after we've completed his mission for him. Grunt has joined Clan Erdnot and should be emotionally stable. We'll monitor Krogan's progress of societal acceptance with Clan Erdnot. Hopefully Clan Bonds will not interfere with loyalty to Shepard. Data regarding Krogan, Clan politics useful. So he got some, he got some juicy information on the Krogan clans while we were down there, probably from Edie. So Grunt's fortification power has been unlocked. A brief but massive boost to your armor. So it chonkers. A new outfit. He already has like so many awesome outfits, but we'll take a new one. Shotgun damage increase, creds, and platinum. Very nice. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Rex again before we leave. I don't think he'll have anything new to say about anything. Nothing else up here. You don't have to try. What are these? Like for their, um, I forget what those animals are called. They're dog things. <laughs> Everybody's heard. As if it does, it's Rex himself. All right, so let's go see what Rex has to say. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. Aww. That was, that was kind of cool. Um, what did he call him? About dark matter. It reminds me of Tally's quest where, like, the sun was becoming... It was, like, decaying faster than it should and something about dark matter. And then Rex just said something about dark matter. And I don't know what the term he called him is. Interesting. I was kind of like dark matter. I don't know why he called him that though. All right. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. All right. Nothing else to say. That was really cool. That was an awesome experience. Everyone's talking about it too. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok. Shiar and Bio. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Erdnot will make it better. My line will fix it. Aww. Alright. Is there anything else? Eyes straight ahead. To do over here? Give me a lead. <gasps> Whoa! Better check your dog, man. Step back. My Baron is hungry. You killed that Thresher Maw on foot? Who is this? 
Welcome to the clan, or not Grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Good for you. Now go find something else to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Where can I find a manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. Um, who are you? I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? <laughs> Not anymore, we don't. Oh, I can go look for the manifold. I feel like it's kind of my... my doing. <laughs> I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. So, I don't know if we can do this one anymore. I think I might have missed out on my opportunity because we've already done all of our missions here. It seems kind of unlikely that we'll find it for him. Unfortunate. I didn't know that we could go up here. I thought that this was just like the place to get onto the truck, but... Don't touch anything. That stinks. Alright, so let's see. We did get some research, which is good. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alright, let's check this message out back from female camp from Erdnot Darg dear human the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you I don't remember much of what happened but the chief scout said you pulled my squad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the warlock camp thanks next time I have a chance to kill a human I won't unless I go into blood rage or something <laughs> I got to go to the female camp after I recovered and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. Or not dark. A clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. Wait, was this the guy? The chief scout said you pulled my squad, my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned. Aww, so he made it and he's at the female camp. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I'm glad that he made it and he's doing well. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, let's go see what Joker thinks of Grunt. <laughs> I don't think we've gotten the interaction from him yet about Grunt. So let's see what he has to say. You know, Commander, I'm not real broke up that Rex isn't coming. I'm good with our current amount of headbutting. I'd say we're at headbutting capacity. <laughs> Did you see me headbutt that one, dude? <laughs> what do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Grunt is not a stabilizing element, Commander. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone, like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. Not a stabilizing element. I mean, not after what we've just went through. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay. I think That's I'm going to hear that saying in See my you, sleep. Commander. I've heard it so many times now. I feel like I'm, I hear it, like, in my dreams now. Fractured my thumb on the mute. I think I got my point. <laughs> All right, so let's go see what uh, Morden has to say. We did have a little, we ran into a Krogan scientist, which he said and laughed about before. So let's see if he has anything to say about it. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Have you got a minute to talk? 
Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Wow. I'm interested. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Whoa. Can they be saved? Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No what? art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. Whoa. Oh, that's so sad. Tools for Reapers, Protheans dead. Oh my gosh. So that kind of makes me think that their human experimentation and their experimentation on the collectors might be leading towards the same thing. Collectors just final insult must be destroyed. Jeez. So you're, yeah, he sounds very angry about it. I mean, if I had to guess, it's because we're on the same page where life is a life and this is really, they wiped out an entire civilization by replacing it with technology for their own benefit. You said the collectors had I no didn't mean to art. Take that one. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. <laughs> but not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. It's so true. Art music all of that stuff it evolves over time as we all know it evolves over time and it means that we're growing as a society as a species as everything i'm sorry i know that was important but you perform gilbert and sullivan i am the very model of a scientist salarian i've studied species turian asari and batarian I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. <laughs> My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Holy moly. And we're not going to say anything to him. Look at him be like awkwardly standing there. And we're staring at him. <laughs> oh my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? <laughs> Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. Your fault. What? You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Solarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. Wow. I did not think about it that way. But you re-sterilized them. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That yeah. or kill them all. If around during first contact would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Wow. 
So what's your motivation? I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Yeah. Enjoyed challenge. Saw a necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. What a crazy character. All right, I know that Jacob's probably gonna get on us for not doing his side quest yet, so I'm not gonna bother trying to talk with him, but we should be able to go talk to Grunt now. So let's go see what he's up to. Now that he's hopefully feeling better than he was before. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy's the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. <laughs> a lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself. Oh my god. He is hilarious. Their banter is so funny. Oh my gosh. All right, wait, where is he? He's in Port Cargo. <laughs> How are you doing over here, Grunt? Or not Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him to tear out his spine like a trophy. We did this to calm you down. <laughs> we started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. <laughs> Just had this built up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Mm. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. Someday it'll end. It has to. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. <laughs> He's very cool. I wonder if we can talk to him again. Shepard. Um, oh, you have upgrades? Have we asked him about Anything upgrades? Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Okay. Just checking in. How are you doing? Uh, humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. Okay. That's all for now. Shepard. No, well, I'm glad he's doing better. He seems much more himself like he's coming into his own i think the ritual was obviously a really really good thing for him it's awesome all right we haven't checked in with kazim uh zaid gosh i did it again i called him kazim um we haven't talked to zaid in a while so let's thinking see about past say. missions got a minute you might learn something collectors and protheans it's all about my pay grade i'm more used to putting down rebellions Tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Yeah, we're literally saving the world, Zaid. You can't put a price on that. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard oh, I heard about operating that. procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. Yeah, it was crazy. Fighting a Thresher Mall up, like, close and personal compared to being in, like, uh, the Mako was terrifying. And it was very difficult. I We died once. It was very, very hard. It was crazy. All right, better fish. <laughs> 
All right, everyone, that's it for today. What another awesome adventure. I am loving every moment of these loyalty missions and they go above and beyond anything that I could ever think of. And after today, I'm kind of like second guessing my thoughts about Tally and her reasoning behind getting in trouble and treasonous charges and yada yada just because i feel like everything is such a plot twist in this game i don't know i could still be correct but i thought that we were gonna go in today and like grunt was gonna have some sort of like thorn in his toe and like that's the reason for his blood rage or as you can see today went wildly different than i thought i thought we were gonna like talk to somebody that knew something about like krogan genes and all that stuff so it went so differently than I imagined and now he has a clan and we were able to talk to Rex a little bit more and Rex stood up for us and welcomed him into this new clan and we fought a Thresher Mall on foot today. Like it was a wild, awesome day. I'm excited to jump into the rest of these loyalty missions. I think next time, and I'm not 100% sold on this yet, but I think next time we are going to go do tallies. And I wanna get hers done mainly because I feel like I already have all of these connotations in my head about how it's gonna go, but I wanna know more. And also hers seems a little bit more intense and urgent than everybody else is so i think that we're gonna do tallies because she's in all of this trouble with her clan and there's treasonous charges against her and i need to know what's going on with her so i don't think that we should put it off for any longer i'm also a little bit worried about putting it off for longer because she told us herself that if we wait too long, she won't have a chance to speak for herself. So I think we're gonna go figure out what's going on with Tally. Curiosity is also just like peeking in my head. Tally is one of our favorites that we've had since Mass Effect 1. So Tally and Garrus's missions are probably going to be my the next ones on my list to do. I think that their missions should take priority over everyone else's right now. So I'm looking forward to next time. I can't wait to get more into these loyalty missions. I'm looking forward to the next few episodes to come. I hope you guys are loving this playthrough still as much as I am. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.